Again, we're going to do a comparison, but this time we're going to do it differently. There are phones that are already out there that are number one, number two, and there are phones that are about to come out where the rumors and speculation is pretty high. So now I'm going to compare the HTC One with those that already exist and phones that are rumored to be coming in soon. The HTC One packs a punch with killer specs that take it right to the top of the smartphone pecking order. As the bar gets set very high with the HTC One, a straight shootout between this and the hottest other phones out there, the iPhone 5, the BlackBerry Z10 and the yet to release Samsung Galaxy S4 may well be an interesting feature slam fest. The HTC One seems to be wanting to reinvent multiple feature categories, so we decided to pit it against all others in each. The iPhone 5 is of course very Apple-ish and similar to the previous iPhones, just a little bit stretched though the anodized aluminum used drew several criticisms because of its chipping problem. BlackBerry did a mighty good job with the Z10. Sturdy, simplistic and strong in terms of looks, this berry has truly been our favorite one yet. The Z10 does remind you of the iPhone 5 at times and the HTC One in turn resembles the Z10 in many ways but goes over and above as the only machined full metal unibody shell that gives it oodles of style and a very sleek feel. And for the S4, we just pray that it breaks away from the plasticky mold and moves to solid metal too. Samsung, are you listening? As of now, we'll call the HTC One and the Z10 the winners here. The iPhone has a 4-inch screen with 326 ppi. The Retina display makes it one of the better smartphone screens, but certainly not the best. The Z10 has a 4.2-inch screen with 355 ppi, good image quality, wide viewing angles and lively colors. The HTC One has a 4.7 inch screen with a brilliant 465 ppi that blows everything else out of the water. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. It uses infinity glass that minimizes glare and scratches. The Samsung S4 is rumored to be a 5 inch phone with full HD display and a pixel density of 441. Thus, as of now, the HTC One is king of the hill here. Apple has always been proud of its camera. The iPhone 5 has an 8 MP sensor and the only cool add-on it flaunts is the panorama feature. There's a 1.2 megapixel front camera. The BB10 device comes with an 8MP camera with different shooting modes, scene modes and an added time shift feature. There's a 2MP front camera. The HTC One has a 4 megapixel camera but it can put any other camera to shame with its brilliant ultra pixel technology for better photography. It has a 2.1MP front camera. If we go by the rumor mill, the S4 is likely to flaunt a 13MP camera. Samsung usually does a good job with optics, so this may well be a brilliant camera on a phone. Once again, it seems to be the HTC One that seems to be blazing a new trail here too. The iPhone runs on the A6 chip, which clocks at 1.3GHz dual core. The Z10 uses a 1.5GHz dual core processor. The HTC One races ahead with a 1.7GHz quad core CPU. The Samsung S4 may clock a quad-core 2 GHz chip. We would really like to see the octa-core chip. That would really make the S4 surge ahead. The iPhone 5 runs on Apple's iOS 6 operating system with not too many changes in the look and feel or the user interface. The Z10 boasts of BlackBerry's all-new BB10 OS with some fantastic gesture-based interactions and a whole new look and feel that works well. The HTC One uses the Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, but the new Blink Feed feels like a breath of fresh air. The Samsung Galaxy S4 is expected to run on Android 4.2, and there should be quite a bit of Samsung on add-ons to take away from the monotony of the icon-based Android interface.